plenty of guys from the party line. We talk today. No, no preference. You name it, I like it. Are you there, Explorer? I'm here, baby. This one is a gem. You are gonna love this. Say you're sorry. Good work, baby brother. Now get Daddy's razor. Oh, I could definitely get into that. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> DA Special Investigator Stacy Sloan. Hello. Excuse me. I I'd like to get a statement from you. Do me a favor, would you? You're sitting on my lunch. I could do things to you that would curl your toenails. How dare you move on your own? There he is. Oh my God, he is so cute. Let me tell you something else, you pathetic little mama's boy. All the bodies were in the Hollywood area. That's all we have. If anyone has any information regarding the identities of either victims, please call the Los Angeles District Attorney's Office. And I am not going to prison because of your... Stop hitting me! It's another one. Well, out of circles. Sure, you want to go through with this? Might get tough. Come and visit us again real soon. Great. Somebody else get on the line? Come here, Mama. That was a good trailer, wasn't it? I liked it myself. Uh, so yeah, that was uh, William Webb's 1988 uh, Party Line. Um, Leaf Garrett. Yes, that was Leaf Garrett in there. Um, but yeah, I mean, that movie. this movie to me is underrated. Like A lot of people don't know about this movie. I've never talked about this movie. I think it's a real good movie, okay? Um, check it out. I posted a trailer at the beginning of the, the video. So that's what I'm gonna try to do now is like I'm trying to post the videos in the in the beginning of the video so people can see what I'm talking about and then they can say okay and I give you like a brief description, you know, with the video, okay? But it's something different I'm gonna try. If it works, it works, you know. Uh, so yeah, they're brother and sister serial killers. They um, either he calls or she calls. Um, doesn't make a difference. They lure people in um, to a party line and either meet at, meet at discos or dance clubs or restaurants and then they go back to either the house or hotel and then they get off. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's, it kind of gets weird in, in the middle of it because they're, like I said, they're, they're a brother and sister, but he has like an infatuation with his sister. It's a weird movie, but the storyline is good. Great movie, great kill scenes, you know. It's not really base. it's basic kills, you know, this, like with a straight razor against the throat, that's basically it. Um, but yeah, it's like, this movie's like underrated. Like nobody ever talks about this movie. Like, the, like a lot of people that do reviews, this is why my channel is for, I, I'm considering like forgotten classics because hardly anybody talks about these movies. I, I mean, I see people here and there post, post them on Instagram or Facebook, you know, these movies, but there's like a handful of them. I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do is uh, make more people aware of these movies that they exist. Um, so, you know, I po I'm trying to, something different. I'm gonna post a trailer in the beginning of the video so you can see for yourself because my description may not be too good, okay? Like, uh, so yeah, so I'll post the beginning of the, you know, in the beginning of the video, you know, the trailer, so you can see. And, uh, yeah, we'll just take it from there. But to me, this movie is underrated. And Leif Garrett, like, I know he was a singer back in the 70s um, and, you know, the 90s, or he was heavy into drugs. But you know what? That's him. I, I have no problem with the guy. He never did anything to me personally, okay? I want to meet him, okay? I want my party line sign, and I need my cheerleader camp sign, because I love cheerleader camp, another good movie. But this movie, for some reason, it's, I mean, I can't say it's like underrated, or like forgotten about, because um, I think uh, Vinegar, Vinegar, Vinegar Syndrome put it out. 
or Severn. One of them DV Blu-ray companies put it on. I'm not really too, too sure. I have it, but it's downstairs. I'm upstairs. And uh, I should have brought it to show you. But yeah, a lot of bonus features on it. The making of it. A lot of stuff. Um, but the DVDs or Blu-rays, they capture the movie. The, the, they're mostly for pictures and better sound. But what they don't, they don't get like the... It's hard to explain like the, the, the grittiness of a tape. That's why I love tapes, okay? Yeah, they're, out, they're outdated and, you know, obsolete, but you can't be a tape. Like I said, tapes will be here after man, before man, and after man. They'll be here with the cockroaches. So, um, so yeah, check out this vid, check out the movie, Party Line, with Leif Garrett, um, William Webb, 1988. Uh, that's basically it. I mean, that's, that's basically it in a nutshell, you know. They, they, they're serial killers and, they're, and then they're, what really is it's not about the brother and sister uh, and then the infatuation with the sister okay that's kind of semi semi normal but if you see uh, there's two babysitters that call the pilot and they're like teenagers like they're having fun and like okay you know we're gonna we're, we're just gonna talk stuff whatever but they're kind of underage and that's the only thing about the movie, like, you know, okay, that's kind of, ooh, what the hell are you doing there? Like, the father was trying to hit on these teenagers, one of them anyway. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, it was just that one part. Other than that, the movie's still great. Uh, but you know what? That's why these movies back then were so much better. They, they took the, chan the chances and the risks, and they did stuff in the movies. Now, I'll give you, for instance, you got, um... Uh, the remake, yet another, another remake to Black Christmas. Uh, you know, Hollywood, wake up, okay? I mean, really. Uh, now, this will be the third installment of Black Christmas because you had one in 74, one in 2006, which was good. I actually enjoyed that one. Um, the, the 74 version was basically about suspense and, you know, the... the, the uh, the chill factor, the scare factor, you know? The 2006 mostly about gore. Hey, I love both of them. Both of them equally the same to me. I have no problem with them. 2006 was for the gore. 2000, uh, the 74 version for the suspense. Great movies. Now this one, it's PG-13. Like, why are you even making a horror movie so you're PG-13? Hello, you stupid. It's stupid. Okay? A horror movie should not be PG-13. Um, but you know what? That's me. People want to go see the movie. Hey, I that's that's them. I I don't. That's them. I don't particularly care. That's why on my channel I only do old movies because I love old movies. This is my passion. This is what I love. Okay. Uh, I don't care about new stuff. I don't. I don't. I really don't. Uh, people want to go see this and say, okay, you know, I'm gonna support the horror. Hey, man, that's you. Go go for you people. I I, I can't. I can't be part of that. Okay, because to me that's not using. They don't use origin. There's no more originality anymore. Everybody's saying, okay, we're just gonna we're gonna make it better for you know the newer fans. You're not making it better. All you're doing is spitting in the face of the original fans. That's all you're pretty much doing. But hey, you know I'm one person. It's gonna be the cogwheels is gonna keep on turning. You know I'm just gonna I'm a little cog in the movie world. Just a little baby cog. So no matter what, if I don't want to watch the movie, there's gonna be other people that's gonna love it and support it. Hey, that's you. But I diverse. Let's get back to Party Line, okay? 1988 Party Line, starring uh, Leaf Garrett. So. Hopefully you guys like this video. I like making it. And if you like the trailer I posted at the beginning of the video. Hopefully you guys check it out. I'm trying to help you. Because this movie. A lot of people don't talk about this movie. Okay. And hopefully. You know. What I'm trying to do. Is. Um, show the people that there's movies. That do exist. Um, like people always check out the newer stuff. Me, what I do, like I've seen a lot of movies, if you haven't tell, like I have movies back there, like I'm, that's my passion, movies. Horror movies are number one, rom-coms are number two, yeah, <laughs> dookie. Uh, so, um, yeah, so that's what I try to do. I try to look at movies 
Like I have Amazon Prime. I say, okay, you know what? Let me go down. Let's, let me see the movies I have there. Okay. Uh, like I seen a movie that I never heard of. And I just recently watched. And I actually really liked it. Um, grotesque. With uh, Linda Blair, I think, played in it. And Robert Zadar, Robert Zadar he played the Maniac Cop. Um, so, yeah. I mean... But let me get back to this movie. Because I always... I'm like a rabbit. I always jump ahead somewhere. Or a frog. Uh, but yeah, check out Party Line. Uh, I believe it's on... If you want to... You know... They have a Blu-ray copy of it. And it should be online. So check out Party Line. I posted the trailer. Hopefully you guys dig it. I love the movie. It's a good movie. And I will not stay you guys wrong. You know... I am the VHS God. Self-proclaimed. So... And uh, don't mind this music in the background. I've been playing... Uh, you know, that's just my, uh, dumb background music. So, if you guys like my video, please subscribe, because I've got much more to come, okay? And, uh, have a good night.